what is up everybody i'm Jaden, and welcome to the channel in today's video we're going to take a look at orion money which will be holding a number of idos at the end of september i will go into more detail of the dates later on before we proceed into any more detail make sure you give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to help support the channel and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any videos from our channel so without further ado let's begin the vision of Orion Money is to become a cross-chain stablecoin bank, which will provide a number of features including savings accounts, lending, borrowing, and spending. These will simply be named as Orion Saver, Orion Yield and Insurance, and Orion Pay. The Orion Saver will act as a cross-chain savings dApp, which will be able to provide one of the high stable yields for stablecoin, and they're able to achieve this by utilizing Terra. The clever thing about the Orion Saver is it allows native Ethereum users to bridge their assets over to Terra and utilize the high yield earning protocols such as Anchor. And what's great about this is that users who haven't utilized Terra before don't have to interact with it at all. Orion acts as a middleman and swaps or bridges the assets over to Terra keeping the user's interface purely on the Ethereum network. Because of how this system works, Orion Money is going to have a huge positive impact on the Terra ecosystem. As when they are bridging assets over to Terra, they are bringing a large amount of capital onto the ecosystem which will directly influence the price of Terra Luna. The other products will include the orange yield and insurance which will provide further yield for users that stake and lend out their stable coins. Their final product will be Orion Pay, which will allow for cross-chain payments via the DApp and will integrate a fiat on an off-ramp system, which will allow for users to either spend their saver coins or move them over to fiat. The Orion Money workflow is relatively simple when a user deposits stablecoins into Orion Money. Orion Money then deposits those stablecoins into Ethereum Anchor. And through Ethereum Anchor, these stablecoins are then converted to UST, which is an algorithmic stablecoin. Ethereum Anchor then deposits that UST to the Anchor protocol on Terra and thus begins earning yield on your stablecoins. When you come to withdraw your assets, Orion Money simply reverses that process to be able to bring your stablecoins from Terra back to Ethereum. To be able to boost the amount of view you can get from the Orion Saver, Users can choose to hold a percentage of Orion tokens on their portfolio. This is broken down into Earth Station and Moon Tier. If your portfolio holds 0-5% to in Orion tokens, you are able to earn 13.5% yield in the form of stablecoins or 15% in the form of Orion tokens. For Station user, hold 5-15%. to You could earn 14% stablecoins or 17% in Orion tokens. And for Moon, you'd have to hold 15% or more, and you'd be able to earn 16% of stablecoins and 20% in Orion tokens. For these different tiers, if you're bullish on the Orion token, a good choice would be to receive your yield payout in Orion tokens, as you'd be making 20% yield on the tokens, and then any further gains if the price was to pump or rise. However, there's always a risk the opposite could happen and the value of Orion token would decrease. And in that case, you'd be in a safer position taking your APY as stablecoins. This is something you definitely need to weigh up. But there's only a 4% increase in APY between the two. And therefore, you could argue the risk versus reward could be good or bad depending on how bullish you are on the project. As for investors and backers, Orion Money received seed investment from Duffy Labs, Cash Accomplice, and Sky Vision Capital. They purposely chose not to take on a large number of initial capital because this is a yield farm protocol and you can see there on the screen you can currently see a number of early supporters rotating across the banner. These are all VCs, private investors, and other projects that have deposited capital into an Orion Saver poll. This particular one was private and designed to bring some big names onto the platform. Now let's look at the roadmap for core development. The Orion Saver on Ethereum has already launched including the private call for early backers. By the end of quarter 4 2021, they're looking to launch their Orion Saver on Terra and their Orion Saver on Binance Smart Chain. 
meaning users would be able to interact with yield farming from both Terra and Finance Smart Chain. For quarter 1 and quarter 2 of 2022, they'll be looking to launch their Orion Yield Insurance. And for quarter 2 and quarter 3 of 2022, they'll be looking to launch their Orion Pay platform. As for Orion Money's tokenomics, there will be a max supply of 1 billion Orion tokens, and the distribution of these are broken down as follows 7% was reserved for the seed token sale. These tokens were sold at a price of 2.5 cents. The VCs will have their tokens vested monthly, with a 5 month cliff from the token generation event that will happen in September. And they will have a release of 10% each month. 7% was reserved for private farming, which is for the private poll that I mentioned earlier. The early backers will have their tokens vested over 10 months at a rate of 15%. The price of these tokens are based at 3.5 cents and will be vested for 10 months with a 3-month cliff. As for the IDOs, there will be 3% of the supply preserved. Later on in the video, I will be covering the IDO platforms that Orion Money plans to launch on. The tokens we vested over a 6 to 8 month period depending on what platform. And the price of these tokens will be 5 cents, which is 2 times the price of the seed round. 4% of the supply will also be secured for airdrops. This will occur via Orion token farming or airdrops on Terra for people who are staking Luna. The staking fund has reserved 30% of tokens. These will be used to pay out yield rewards for those that choose to receive their yield in Orion tokens. The team have reserved 20% of the tokens. They will have a 6 month cliff and their tokens will be vested over 42 months. 2% has been reserved for advisors. The same vesting period goes for them. 20% has been reserved for the community fund, which will be used for funding Orion money projects by the community once the DAO is established. And there will be 7% of the total supply reserved for liquidity pools. Obviously, one of their main products is a yield farming Orion saver having 30% of their tokens reserved for this is a great start. However, having 20% reserve for the team is quite high, but this is balanced out by a very long vesting period for the team's tokens. I also like the fact that they have reserved 7% liquidity. Normally you'd expect about 5% of this, so it's great to see that they're on the higher end. And the 20% of the community funds is also a great sign that they're going to value the DAO that they'll be building. They also have an overallocated tokens for the seed sale and the private farming. And the fact that the IDO price is only at 2x from the seed sale is also a very good sign. Now let's take the Twitter to have a look at the announcements for the Orion Money IDOs that will be held at the end of September. So far they've announced details for an IDO on Pokestarter, which I would rate in one of the top 5 IDO platforms they've already opened their whitelist. They've already opened their whitelist for this. So make sure you head to Orion Money's Twitter and you can follow the links to be able to sign up for the whitelist. You can see here that there is also a mention of Star Terra and Pylon Protocol. Now Star Terra is a gamified IDO platform which is built on Terra. There's been a lot of fun in the news around Star Terra. And from my standpoint, I'm not planning on taking sites, as everyone have their own opinions. I would highly recommend you do some research into this if you plan on using Star Terra to invest into Orion money. And Pylon Protocol is a great platform which utilizes polls to gain access to IDOs and a new poll which is coming soon to be able to earn NFTs. And they also announced that they'll be holding an IDO on Downmaker which once again I'd rate him the top 5 IDO platforms. This one will be held on September 27th. Once again, there's already details released for this, so head over to Orion Money's Twitter to check them out. I'd like to have a little summary at the end of the video just for those that don't have time to watch the entirety of it. There are a numbers of ways for users to get their hands on Orion tokens. 
This could be either be through staking on the Orion Saver or participating in an IDO. And after the token generation event, depending on what your holding of Orion tokens are, this will also affect the amount of yield you can earn. So in terms of tactics, there are options to earn tokens through staking and through IDO participation, but you could also utilize both to then boost the amount of yield to boost your yield earning percentage. But you will have to do some calculations around this to work out what your holding percentage would be if you were to stake stablecoins and then participate in an IDO. And as you saw earlier on in the video, and if you watched the section of the video about early investors and backers, you'd have seen that there are lots and lots of big names, influencers and VCs who are participating in the private poll for Orion money and that's definitely making me bullish on the project. But it is worth considering and weighing up the risk of these early backers and VCs selling off their tokens once they begin getting vested. But if you look into the details properly, you've got about a 5 month grace period before people have a serious chance of selling off their tokens. Now let's go and review our Orion Money Roadmap. Orion Money Roadmap features an exciting suite of dApps aimed at addressing multiple use cases and drive the demand for UST. You can see here on the screen shows Orion Saver is to cross-chain stable coin savings. Orion Yield and Insurance are high yield savings and insurance for stablecoin savings. Orion Pay, crypto payment services, it is crypto to fiat direct payments, subscription based services, and debit cards. And Orion Loans, self paying loans and no liquidation loans. Each protocol within the Orion money ecosystem represents a sizable market on its own and serves a unique use case within the Orion money stablecoin bank. You can deposit your stablecoin savings or assets to accrue 20% interest in Orion Saver, which are insured by Orion Insurance. Proceed to freely spend your stablecoins using Orion Pay. It will be fascinating to see how Orion Money develops its suite of dApps and how they eventually work together. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any videos from the channel. And I'll see you on the next video.